Okay, so to start our Michael Jackson cake off, we will use a moist chocolate mud cake recipe and there were the ingredients. So we'll start with 200 grams of dark chocolate, 250 grams of butter at room temperature and 100 mils of milk. Okay, so then you'll want to pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time, bring it out and give it a mix. Then you want it to be just like a really nice silky consistency. I think I put it in the microwave for about two minutes in total. And this is what you want it to look like. Make sure there are no lumps left in there and it's ready to go. Then we will sift 250 grams of self-raising flour with 40 grams of cocoa powder. And then we'll add 250 grams of caster sugar and stir that through. Then what we'll do is we'll put that to the side and get our wet ingredients and then gradually add those dry ingredients. So only add half at the start, fold it through and then add the other half. Once the ingredients are almost combined, then you'll add four beaten eggs to the mixture and you'll fold this through again. Then you'll add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and 150 mils of sour cream. Once you've placed your mixture in its baking tin, just tap it gently on the bench to get any air bubbles out and bake it in a preheated oven of 160 degrees for 60 to 70 minutes. Just check it to make sure that it's cooked through the middle using a skewer or a cake tester. If you love Michael Jackson, you should go over to millie.tw.art. Um, her Instagram is awesome. Go check out her artwork. Use a sharp serrated edge knife to cut off any uneven parts of the cake so you have a nice flat surface. Now moving on to the chocolate buttercream. So we'll have 230 grams of room temperature butter and 45 grams of cocoa powder, two teaspoons of vanilla essence and three tablespoons of double cream. Then gradually add 420 grams of icing sugar. Um, it makes it easier to stir this way and also your consistency might be a little bit different. You might find that you don't need the whole 420 or you might need to add a little bit more. You want the consistency of the buttercream to be thick, but not so thick that you can't easily spread it on. Okay, so the thickness I had there was pretty good. I just used the cake tin to check where the centre of the cake board was there so I knew where to put my buttercream icing on the base. Now you can place your cake onto the cake board and just gently press it down so it sticks to that buttercream and then you'll evenly um, coat the cake with the leftover buttercream. I just went around with a wet uh, paper towel there just to wipe up any excess buttercream that was on the side. And now I'm using fondant. So I bought this fondant from the supermarket. It was just easier for me. And also it was super hard to use. So what I had to do here was cut it up and work with each individual um, piece that I just cut there. You just need to be patient in this part uh, as the fondant was super hard. You might find it uh, easier fondant, but I just had to do heaps of squishing, twisting, ripping of that fondant to work with it. So anyway, to stop my uh, fondant sticking to the chopping board, I put down some baking paper and then dusted that with some icing sugar. What I'm doing here is I'm checking the size of the bottom of the cake tin so I know the size of the cake so I can determine whether or not the fondant is large enough to cover the whole surface area of that. You need to be careful while transporting the fondant onto the cake as it's quite thin you don't want it to be a thick layer of fondant so I had an extra pair of hands there and I actually did rip the fondant there but it was actually a part that didn't make it onto the cake anyway so thank goodness for that. I just used my hands to smooth out the fondant on the cake and to remove any air bubbles 
Then I used a small sharp knife to cut away the excess fondant from the cake. Now I'm moving on to create some of the decorative pieces on the cake. So I've used some black food gel here to colour the fondant um, a grey colour to replicate Michael Jackson's glove. I am aware that he wore a white glove, but I couldn't put white on top of white. It just would have been invisible. So acting as my little stencil, I printed out on paper a image of Michael Jackson's glove and then I did the same with Michael Jackson's silhouette and hat as you will see later. So anyway, I cut that out using a really sharp knife. Then I went back to the excess grey that I made and added more black food gel to make it black to make Michael Jackson's silhouette. Make sure that you do use a small sharp knife for this as the um, pieces of Michael Jackson are quite fine as you're working with really small pieces there as you can see. And then I made his hat. So this was more a bit of guesswork so I just used a round um, measuring glass there and then I formed it into an oval shape. I cut off the excess of that circle and made it more of an oval shape and turned up the edges of the hat and then made a three-dimensional piece for the top. Um, to stick that three-dimensional piece to the base of the hat, I just put a bit of water on my thumb and then stuck it down that way. So I rubbed the water on my thumb onto that piece and then stuck those pieces together. So I'm just using the paper pieces here just to get the arrangement right on my cake and then I just use again a bit of water on my finger to put it down onto the fondant piece to stick onto the cake. Then I just used the leftover buttercream to pipe out um, the message happy birthday mum as this was a birthday cake for my mum and she loves Michael Jackson. She's a big MJ fan. She even has a really cool MJ um, Instagram page. So if you also love Michael Jackson, you should go over, head over to her Instagram page and start following her. Once the top part of my cake was decorated, I thought I'd add a little bit extra. So I piped out some extra buttercream around the base of the cake. And then I added some stars around the cake because as we all know, Michael Jackson was a star. So here is the cake. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.